Um, I wanted to ask a slightly more personal question. Yeah. A number mm -hmm. of people have asked me uh, to yeah. ask you this, and we talked about it in advance. When we worked together, um, I knew you always to be professional, serious, <laughs> low-key, steely, mm -hmm. which is a very good and important quality in a diplomat, uh, but uh, never someone to call attention to herself. Mm -hmm. And then um, suddenly last fall, and this is a big understatement, the spotlight was on you. Um, do you mind sharing with us, what did that feel like? Um, well, it was um, in some ways um, surprising. It was certainly unwelcome and um, not anything that I ever would have chosen uh, for myself. I don't think anybody would have. Um, but I think that when you, um, when you find yourself in uh, a position like that, and that's obviously a dramatic position, but I would say that um, over you know, many years uh, working for, um, for the American people and for the U.S. government, you have um, challenges. And so you have, to, um, <clears throat> you have to meet them in the best way that you possibly can. And, um, and that's, that's what I tried to do. And I, I, you know, many people have, um, as you have, have sort of complimented me on, uh, on that. I note that the State Department and the federal government, and I'm sure local and state governments, are full of people who would have responded just as I did, just as the other witnesses um, did, that you are called upon to tell the truth. We are government officials, and so we respond in a nonpartisan way. Um, but it is important to tell the truth and, um, and then to, uh, you know, hand it over to uh, political leaders who, um, you know, take their own actions uh, on, on that. Um, I, I, I guess I would just say one other thing, which is that um, people have asked me, well, you know, how did you, how did you know what, you, what to do? And I, I didn't. <laughs> um, but I, um, you know, there are little... Um, so these are not the most um, sophisticated ways of dealing um, probably with this kind of question, but there's, um, there's two things. You know, I, I thought about mentors I've had in my life, and I thought about my own mother, who is um, probably my first and most important uh, uh, mentor and the person I admire most in the world. And, you know, what would they do? And what would they want me to do? And how would they go about it? I mean, I think that sometimes asking yourselves questions like that can really, um, you can really find your courage. Um, and the other question is um, perhaps a little uh, um, less uh, idealistic, but if, um, it, you know, it, it, in philosophy uh, courses, it's called the, um, the New York Times test. You know, if, if there's gonna be a headline in the New York Times, what do you want it to say about you? Uh, <laughs> and so, um, you know, I, um, I found myself asking that question, how, how did I want others who have no dog in the fight at all um, to, uh, to, to think about this? And so those were important um, ways that I kind of found my moral compass. And now you have uh, an extra <laughs> compass uh, yes. to bring home as well.